We got the ICP test results and they're not great. Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you're all having a good week. Right, so uh, it's going to be quite a quick video this week. Um, uh, I've uh, got the uh, ICP test results back. So uh, we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the tank and uh, the parameters. Um, unfortunately, we're unable to do the uh, lab test NDOC. Um, there's something a uh, problem on... Um, the Triton website that won't allow us to do that at the moment. Um, so we just got hold fire on that. So I don't have any results. In fact, I haven't even done the test yet. I know I was doing it uh, last week, but there was a problem with it. So uh, so we're gonna have to wait on that. Uh, I've emailed Triton and I'll, I'm sure I'll get a reply, uh, reply back next week. So uh, <clears throat> let's take a look at the, the, the results. Um, like I said on the intro, then it's, it's not good, um, but let's have a look. Right, so uh, I'm on the uh, iPad here. So, so basically, uh, uh, you've got a few sections. So the first thing is the data. Um, so basically, I don't know, if, I'm, I'm sure you all know, but I'll just explain. Basically, you want, wherever the green is, you want to be in the green. Where you don't want to be is obviously in the red. And if you're in the yellow or the orange, there's a slight problem as well. Okay, so let's have a look. So mercury and all the way down there, as you can see, that's all green. So that's good. So anything that's in green, you really don't need to worry about. Um, so it's it's not rocket science with these tests. They do make it uh, very easy. Um, titanium, copper, lanthium, uh, you know, all of these, they're all absolutely perfect. So really good with that. That's what's called your unwanted heavy metals now they're the things you don't actually want in the tank okay so i would say out of all the ones that well, we're going to go down the list in a minute you don't want to be finding anything in here so um the fact that there's nothing there there's nothing really to really worry about uh but it do, it's not all good news uh, now you've got uh, uh, macro elements such as sodium calcium magnesium so this gives you an idea of where your parameters are um as you can see there, mine saying calcium at 533, which is okay. Um, you know, set point really 415 to 420, so slightly elevated, nothing at all to worry about. Um, bear in mind I'm dosing all for reef. Um, then you've got the uh, magnesium, which is bang smack where you want it, so that's good. Uh, potassium, perfect. Uh, bromide, um, yep, yeah, fine. Uh, maybe a a uh, bit high but it's still in the green um borum now the one that's um so all those ones are okay so it's only when you go up to the the li group which is like lithium nickel again if you look there absolutely perfect you want to be in the green um and uh yeah that's that that's 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 good as well so we're happy with that um so where the problems occur is here now, if you look at these ones here, the I group, um, so uh, vandium's good, zinc's good, manganese is orange, so it's saying 3.15 there, the set point is 0 uh, to 3, so we're slightly over, nothing to be concerned with there, um, so I'm happy with that. Now, this is the problem, iodine, um, it's yellow. OK, so uh, uh, basically it's saying, uh, you know, my iodine levels are, you know, are low. It's not red, so it's nothing to be really concerned with as yet. Um, so just bear in mind with that. Um, but the one that you can see here, oh, bear with me. Oh, God, hang on. Uh, sorry, I don't know what I've done here. Hang on, bear with me. Sorry. <laughs> right. So so then we go to FE group, chromium, cobalt and iron. Now there. The first two, absolutely fine. Oh, sorry, there's, there's something coming up on the screen. Um, iron, big problem. It couldn't be any further in the red there. Well, it could be. So, um, so basically, it's saying you should be zero iron, and we're at five, four point five two six. Um, so yeah, well, there's a serious problem there. So we need to look at, and it will, it does, as you, if you use ICP, you'll see in a minute what it actually tells you 
what, what else to do. So if we go back through the rest of it now, we're kind of in the green everywhere else. So I'm not really going to dwell on anything else. So really, the, the worst one was the iron, which was the red. Everything else was uh, good. Now, iodine um, was low as well. So it says help. And then it will tell you. Basically, your iron levels are slightly elevated. Check for possible contamination source to help find the source of the error. Um, we have listed most common sources. Then it says trace element overdose, con stroke contaminations. Now, that's what I think it is. I think it's down to using all for reef because I'm dosing all for reef. Um, I'm just uh, obviously all the trace elements are incorporated in the all for reef. And I think what's happened there is that I'm just getting a slight overdose with my trace elements it says look for like metals and screws things like that i'm not i'm not convinced that that, that that's the the case low ph uh ph was fine it's at it's at eight um so remedy to we recommend carrying out six times uh 15 percent water changes using tropic marion pro reef salt which is what i use spread over six weeks now i tend to do 10 every single week anyway so i just need to up that a little bit okay uh manganese uh slightly elevated um again it's just saying um trace element overdose again so again that comes back down to the the the, the, the tropic marinol for reef um and again these ones are just just basically saying trace element overdose with those ones. Calcium levels a bit high again, again, and again when you're using all for reef, you have no um, control over that. Uh, so you know if you're dosing them separately, it's an easy fix. Um, so, uh, but the iodine, um, it said here that for uh, we've detected a lack of iodine, and it's under dosing. So it's saying it recommends we carry out over two days with the first being dosage 2.5 mil um, and the last day being 5 mil then a recommended daily dose of 0 0.30 mil so 0 0.3 mil um, so that is exactly what i'm going to do i've brought this today from uh, the ocean project uh, went to see sean today uh, also saw reef dork there so that was cool to see him um uh, so yeah, this is what you've got. This is the iodine. This is uh, this is the uh, what we need, and we need to be dosing point three. So that's the tiny, tiny amounts really. But we need to start off by putting two point five in there, and then we'll start by putting point five. I'm not going to do it on camera because it's lethal stuff. If I get anything wrong, we're in trouble. All right. So um, yeah, should we have a quick look at the tank? <coughs> Tank's looking good this week. Uh, nothing really to. Um, to, to say, uh, obviously we can see the the torch is pretty much dead now. In fact, algae's grown over that one, and this one's now down to its last head, so that's going to die as well, unfortunately. But we, we knew about that from last week. Um, but it does show there's nothing serious, you know, serious in the contaminants in the water to really worry about. Uh, we are going to up the water changes, and we're going to start dosing some iodine. And I think you know it, it, it isn't anything to be too concerned with. But it, you know, it's when you see something in red, you always do crap yourself because you think, oh my god, what you know, what how bad is this? Then when I consulted with Sean, it's it's not as bad as as I initially thought. When I saw iron, I thought that's going to I'm going to have to search through my you know my tank for a screw or something that's come off and it could be the case you know you just you know it may not be that but i mean at the moment um yeah it's um yeah we've, we've we're going to do the dosing with the iodine and we are going to see how that pans out uh but apart from that tanks all looking good i've done a, a water change this morning i've done my testing um testing's pretty similar to last week let's have a look what we've got here so let's have a look at the parameters we've got um nitrates 25 so that's a bit high but i've just I always do the test before the water change um eight uh, ph 8.01 phosphate 0 0.10 but i have changed my row of phos and my carbon today so that will bring that back down that had been changed for nearly two months so that would explain that uh, calcium 475, magnesium 1400, alkalinity 8.1, salinity 35.5. Again, we've done a slightly, we've done a water change around 34, so that should balance that out. Um, so, yeah, so that's it, really. Um, that's, uh, let's just go back to me. So, 
Uh, that's it. Obviously, we're going to get the NDOC one. As soon as we can get that to uh, Triton, we'll do that and we'll do the results on that. So it'll be a separate video on that one. But another ICP, I think it's the fourth one we've done since we've, uh, in the two years we've done the tanks. We're trying to keep it every six months. I do recommend anyone that's got a reef tank to do an ICP test. It really does give, you know, more in depth on, you know, if there are any contaminants in the water or anything like that. But it's, you know, still happy with the tank yet. There's a few little issues that we need to iron out. We need to up the water changes and we will you start dosing iodine. And I know if you saw my previous videos, I've always been very scared to dose iodine because it's lethal stuff if you get it wrong. But we are gonna do it. We're just gonna be very careful. We're probably gonna underdose what they're actually telling us to do. Sorry, monster. Someone's come up on the screen. Um, so that's it. So I want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, uh, so if you uh, aren't subscribed, you know what to do. Hit the uh, the subscribe button, the like button, the follow button, all the, all the little bits. I am on Instagram as well, uh, at Nils uh, Reef Aquarium. So go and follow me on there. Um, uh, so uh, there are some things on there. I need to start being more active on that. So that is something I am planning on doing. So big shout out to everyone. Um, uh, I'm getting around to watching the videos. I am being a bit slow. I've been a bit busy with work this week, so I will get back to them. But I want to say a big thank you to you all, and um, I will see you a lot next week. See ya.